Hi, I'm Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications. Today we're talking about uh, something little, something new. Uh, it's the Denneke SB4. Uh, so here she is. Uh, this is the new sync box from Denneke. And as you can see, if you compare it side by side with one of their old sync boxes, uh, it's quite a bit smaller. This is an SBT, um, so it is a little bit different. It's a, the SB4 was a direct upgrade of the SB3. Uh, so the SBT does a little bit more, but if you look, it's really uh, quite a bit smaller, probably a, what, I would say a third smaller. Um, anyway, very much tinier. Um, so uh, differences you'll notice on the SB4, uh, if we take a look on the timecode uh, in and out end, uh, timecode in and out comes in and out on a limo. Uh, Powering is also done on the limo. Uh, and then there's also an additional B and C output here. Um, it is user upgradable um, via USB, so you can actually apply any of the other uh, firmware updates that may come in where the other ones did not have that. And then probably uh, the biggest thing is uh, that there's a screen, uh, which is pretty darn exciting. So, um, and then one last thing, uh, batteries, two AAA batteries, as opposed to two or three AA batteries. Um, so those batteries are going to last you eh, anywhere from uh, you know, 15 to 30 hours, depending on how much you use the backlight on the screen. So let's turn this screen on and see uh, what we're working with. There it is, the Denneke SB4. So as you notice, the time code readout is pretty big. Uh, you've got a battery display there. Um, the controls by default are locked. Um, so you have to unlock them in order to use them, which is by design. And you see your, uh, your time code frame rate. And then you also see what mode you're in. Right now we're in auto jam once. So I'm just going to go ahead, jam some time code in here. And you'll see it automatically takes the jam. It still has that green blinking light. So when you've got multiple units next to each other, you can tell that they're all going in sync. We'll get rid of that for now. Um, so let's take a look at the, at the menu items, uh, which gives you quite a bit of flexibility. So if we go into, oh, actually, before we do that, one thing that's cool about this that I just learned uh, is that this also has some of the functions of the master clocks. So like the Denneke GR2, where you can do drift comparison and all that stuff, uh, you can also do that with the Denneke SB4 uh, just by pushing to the left. And now you can see, obviously, because we just jammed from this about three seconds ago, um, that there's no drift, everything is, is rock solid. Um, but at least you can do that kind of comparison so you could troubleshoot if you had a bad sync box, you could see which one, uh, you know, which one was actually doing the drifting. Um, the other note about the time code on this is that the time code on this, the crystal is much more stable. Uh, it's actually about 10 times more stable than any other Denneke product that's uh, since come out. So uh, you can expect much less drift, uh, even though you didn't have very much before, you can expect less now. Um, so let's get into that menu. Um, so to get into the menu to unlock, we're going to just take this joystick and push down. Hold it for five seconds, should be about now, there you go. We unlock and we can push in to go into the menu. So we've got our time code mode here, all the normal modes that you would expect, auto jam once, auto jam continuous, jam once, jam continuous, generate, read, and then you can go back. You can either hit exit to exit fully, or you can just push backwards. All the standard frame rates from you know, 23,976 all the way up to 30 with the drop frame rates. Uh, then you've got your time code setup where you can change the output level, which is new. So if you wanted to, uh, say, plug this into a DSLR, if you're working with a you know, A7S or something like that, and you need to be able to output mic level, you can change the time code level output from 0 dB, which is a normal uh, time code output level, or 2 volts, all the way down to negative 20 dB, which is 0.2 volts. Uh, so pretty helpful for that. And then you can change the user bits. You can change the timer on the backlight um, from 10 seconds to 30 seconds to a minute to 10 minutes to you know, no timeout, which is what we have it set here for. Uh, you can select the type of batteries so that your battery meter is correct. Uh, you can power it off. That's where you power it off. So it won't accidentally power off. There's no way, there's no switch to touch. The only way that it could accidentally power off is if somebody accidentally took the batteries out, which I thought would be a pretty silly 
um, accident. Uh, <laughs> after that, you can reprogram. Uh, you can find out more about it, find out what firmware is in it. Uh, and I think this is pretty cute. If you go into the help menu, uh, it not only gives you the website for, hey, you know, go to the website uh, and get the manual, but you actually have a QR code that you can scan with your cell phone and it will automatically load the manual on there. Um, so that is pretty much that. It's the Denik ESP4 in a nutshell. It's $425. It's available now. Um, it's a name that you know and love because it's Deniki. And uh, one of the big selling points on this, uh, besides the display, is that it's made here in America. And um, honestly, Deniki's customer support is second to none. So if you ever have a problem, I've, uh, I've emailed on the weekends and gotten responses within an hour. So um, anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you want to watch uh, more videos like this one, uh, you can visit us on Vimeo slash Gotham Sound or gothamsound.com slash YouTube. Um, if you have, uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And if you have any, any ideas for uh, new content, email us at info at gothamsound.com. Next week, uh, we most likely will be getting a, uh, an in-depth look at the new Zaxcom ZNT, CMT, uh, keeping on the theme of tiny things. So it's tiny January slash February. I don't know. We're doing a theme. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Take care.